the process of music making is very crucial for a young person, for any human being, for a number of reasons. First, we are creative beings. And life, and we, if I may get philosophical for a moment, life itself, it's creativity. The universe is a constant expression of itself through creation. As human beings, we are constantly creating. We are the only living beings, that are organisms that are self-cognizant. So a creative outlet is supremely important. Um, in any field, in any aspect <clears throat> of, 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 of life, when we have a creative outlet, it allows us to develop ourselves as human beings. We can develop our character. We can develop any number of skills. Um, so that's one aspect. Uh, the other aspect is we think that, specifically for young people, that creative energy has to do with, and I don't mean to, to, to be, how should I say, don't misunderstand when I talk about this, but you see young people with tremendous sexual energy. Sexual energy is nothing but creative energy to procreate, to disseminate. And we live in a society in which our young people are not educated well enough for that, but that's not our function. We're talking about music. So when we have music as a creative outlet, young people are able to express themselves in ways that otherwise that, that energy would find a way to express itself no matter what. That's why we have so many problems with the young today and why I think it's completely abhorrently appalling that our educational system thinks less of music education or as an expendable option. It's just to me mind boggling. If I may go on for a bit longer, uh, Ultimately, the most important aspect, I, I think, regarding musical education is that, and I talk about this to kids all the time, it's like music is life, life is music. For example, if you're learning to play an instrument, you're going to play, you know, you don't, the, 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 the sound will not come out for some time, and when it comes out, it's pretty bad. Then you learn some basic skills until you're at a certain level in that, Supposedly you're ready to get on stage and you have these rules and regulations because of you what you have learned Once you get on that stage to play for real for the first time you may come to see that It seems or it will come to seem as if those rules and skills you develop in the classroom Don't really apply so you have to Learn something that you were not prepared for that that is life we are educated or not in whichever ways of life and eventually as adults or maybe earlier, we come across situations for which we're absolutely not prepared to do. When you learn about, when you learn an instrument, when you learn to play music, you learn to be in situations in which you have to respond, in which you have to somehow find a way to make it happen. Somehow you have to make a way for the music to happen. Somehow you have to make a way for life to happen. <clears throat> so that process, you know, to me is, is vital in the education of any young person. The way I play my music, that's how I try to live. The way I live my life, that's <clears throat> what I try to, to express. And, and even in this setting, I mean, just <clears throat> in the rehearsal. There was a young fellow that was not even supposed to be there. He was filling in for another student that was not able to be at that rehearsal. At that moment, he needed to play the cabo, just set the time. And there was another player that needed to keep time. They were, they were not very strong. And at, at that moment, someone that, whose function was not to do that, but they were there, I had to really call up on him to really play the cowbell in a certain way. And the way I was teaching him or showing him how to play the cowboy in that context was about how you have to live and prevail and hold steady no matter what. 